Ron Lancaster with the Maple Ridge Pitt Meadows School District. We're happy today to have the BC Mining Association here with a number of presenters talking about mining careers to our students. We're hoping today's session will give other students around the province an opportunity to see what mining careers are like and what opportunities are out there. My name is Heather Kidd and I'm a geologist. I work in the Gobi Desert and I explore for copper and gold. I work for Entree Gold Incorporated in Mongolia. All right, so um, as your teachers just mentioned, I'm going to be talking to you about my career as a geologist in the mineral resource industry. So my background, I went to Carleton University in Ottawa and I did a four-year Bachelor of Science degree there in geology. And I wrapped that up in 2006. And since that time, I've been working for a company called Entree Gold uh, in Mongolia. So what is a geologist? The official definition of a geologist is a scientist who gathers and interprets information about the earth. In more general terms, a uh, geologist is a scientist who studies rocks. All right, so in the mineral resource industry, there are two broad categories of geologists. We've got exploration geologists, and these are geologists who explore for minerals. They're looking for things like gold and copper, diamonds, sapphires, all these types of things. And their goal is to find enough of it so that they can mine it. So if they do their job right, we end up with a mine, and that's when mining geologists come into play. But I'm an exploration geologist, so that's what I'm going to talk about today, and I explore for copper and gold. All right, so where do I work? So my head office is here in Vancouver, but I spend uh, most of my time on our company's property in Mongolia. And the company's property is located in uh, southern Mongolia, right in the Gobi Desert. So what does our exploration camp look like? Well, we've got, you can see these circular uh, tents here. These are called gurs, you might know them as yurts, and they're traditional Mongolian tents, and that's what we live in. And then these tents here are office tents, so that's where we do all of our um, computer work and things like that. These are dining tents, that's where we eat all our meals. We, we're even lucky enough to have running water and flush toilets, which is great. <laughs> um, we've got basketball nets, volleyball courts, so it's, it's a little bit like being at summer camp, but you gotta... You have to work, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so at this site, we have seven geologists, and we have about 80 support staff. And we live here actually seven or eight months of the year. All right, just to give you an idea of what the Gobi's like, obviously it's a desert, so it's very dusty. So we get um, a lot of dust storms. And just to give you an idea of scale, like this wood stack here is probably about as tall as me. So we get these massive dust storms that we have to deal with. Um, this is pretty typical of the Gobi. It's really flat, very dry, got lots of goats and sheep walking around. You get some relief, but generally it's pretty flat out there. And of course, we've got lots of camels. And this is our neighbor riding around on one, just herding his animals about. All right, so what does my job entail? Um, just so you guys can understand what I do, I've come up with a bit of a mock scenario about um, well, what I do in my, in my job. Um, so as I said, I explore for gold and copper, and, and um, so one of the first things I do when I come to an area that's interesting is I make a geological map. And what that means is I'll uh, get my notebook out and I'll walk around all these hills and I'll make note of all the rocks I see along the way, and I'll make a map. So this is what a typical geological map looks like. They're usually quite colorful. All the different colors represent the different rocks I see along the way. So the pink is granite, which you've probably heard of, and then this green here is basalt. You may have heard of that as well. It's a black rock. And also, when I'm out geological mapping, one of the things I'm doing is I'm looking for indicators that there's gold and copper around, because that's ultimately why I'm there. I'm looking for gold and copper. So if I'm lucky, I'll find some clues that gold and copper is around. And it's hard to see here, but um, you can see that these rocks are kind of green. And what that green is, is actually copper rusting out of the rocks. So if I'm out mapping and I find this, this is great news. It means I'm in a good area to find some copper and gold. So what do I do next? Well, now it's time to take some samples. So what I'll do is I'll take some soil samples. You can see the guys here, they're filling up this bag with some soil. Our geologist here has got his rock hammer. He's about to 
hit some of the rocks and uh, take some rock samples. And what we do is we collect these samples and we can send them to a laboratory and they can tell us if there's any gold and copper in the rocks or soil. And so if we go back to my geological map, so like I said, we found this copper rusting here in this rock unit. So that's good news. And then we'll go around and take a lot of soil samples. All these dots are where I would take soil samples to see what's happening in the area. I'll send them to a lab. And the lab comes back with results. And the lab will tell me, I've represented the samples with high gold and copper in these big red dots. So those, that's an area where there's a lot of gold and copper. So now we have a target, okay? But this isn't enough to make a mine. We can't open a mine based on this. Basically, all I've proven is that there's some copper and gold on the surface. But we need, really need to know what's going on below the surface. And what we do next is we drill. And this is a picture of a drill rig. And what a drill rig does is it drills into the earth. And it can drill up to two kilometers or more down. And what it does is as it's drilling into the ground, it simultaneously pulls out rock out of the ground. And so we can actually see what's happening all the way down two kilometers into the ground. And um, this is what the rock looks like when it comes out of the drill. It's actually a cylinder of core. Um, this is half of it here. And here's a photo of a cylinder of core. And we call it drill core. And what we're always looking for is all these shiny metallic minerals, which is copper and gold. Um, so what do I do with all this drill core? I've just drilled a two kilometer hole, now I've got two kilometers of these cylinders of rock, this drill core. And so one of my big jobs that I do is I painstakingly with a magnifying glass go through all the core and I look for the gold and copper. And hopefully after doing all of this, I end up with a mine. And that's the ultimate goal all the time when I'm exploring. Alright, so who else is on my exploration team? Obviously I don't do all of this myself. So I've got geotechnicians and they work very closely with me and they help me um, prepare samples. So here's a geotechnician, he's cutting up some rocks for me um, to send to a lab. This girl here, she's got an analyzer and she can actually quickly run through the core with this analyzer and tell me if there's any gold or copper. We obviously always have surveyors on our site too that uh, check our property boundaries and also if we find something interesting we get it surveyed so we know exactly where that is. <coughs> Um, GIS technicians, I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but they're geographic information system technicians and they're really important for what we do. What they do is they take my geological maps and my soil data and all the information I've gained from looking at the two kilometers worth of drill core or what I'm looking at, and they turn that into 3D models. So all these tubes here that you see, that's all the drill core. And this is really important because basically what he's doing is he's telling me exactly where the copper is occurring, which is important. If we're going to mine it, we need to know where it is. Of course, we have drillers that um, run the drill rings. And then if we're in tight spots, we uh, use pilots as well to bring in equipment for us. And we've also got heavy equipment uh, operators as well. All right, so this is my last slide. And I just want to let you guys know about other careers in geoscience that are related to the mineral um, resource industry. Um, so if you're not interested in geology but more in chemistry, well there's also geochemists out there and they're, when we send our <coughs> rocks and soil samples to the lab, they're the ones who are analyzing them for us. And if you're more into phys physics, we've got geophysicists working with us as well and environmental scientists like Jessica who make sure that we're um, respecting the environment as we work. Um, so that's it and does anyone have any questions for me? No? Oh, okay, go ahead. Is this your job hard on your back? Hard on my back? No, um, no, I don't have to do any of the heavy lifting, luckily. <laughs> yes? How did you decide you wanted to do this job? How did I decide? Um, I'll be honest, I went to uh, university not knowing what I wanted to do, and I just tried geology for fun, and I, I really liked it, and really liked um, the various jobs you could do, the traveling aspects, and being outside, and that's why I stuck with it. Yes. Do you make a lot of money? Do I make a lot of money? Okay. Um, <laughs> how do I answer that one? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess um, for um, if you do um, go into geology and take an undergraduate degree, so it's a four-year degree, when you graduate, um, the salaries usually start at 60000 to, let's say, 90000 a year. That's where you'd start off and probably hovers around there for a while. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes. Um, 
Well, I have to say, I like the traveling, but uh, being away all the time is something I don't like. All the, like I said, I'm away for maybe seven months of the year, off and on. Um, so that's hard, but it's also a lot of fun. So there's pros and cons to it. Yeah. Jobs in mining, rock. Rock. Rock.